Kendall, I don't know about you. I think this match is gonna is gonna spend a little bit of time on the feet. We're gonna have mm -hmm. a have a couple of trades here before uh, either of these guys decides that it's time to pull guard. I would imagine so. Yeah, I would imagine. Yep, some nice fakes here from Sebastian. I like seeing those fakes. It's something that uh, we don't always see jiu-jitsu guys and girls know how to do very effectively just because not everybody knows how to teach it. But then you get someone who's really good at faking shots and or fainting, faking, however you want to say it, <laughs> their shots and setting up front headlock attack, front headlock attack, setting up foot sweep, setting up further shots. It's really exciting to watch because it's a little more high level wrestling. Wrestling is still really developing in jiu-jitsu, right? We think about when people play guard in jiu-jitsu and they have Right. As I say that, we have some multi-prong attacks. It's nice. When, when people play guard, they might say, okay, I want to go from single leg X, or I want to go, go go from close guard, or I want to go from collar and sleeve, or from, you know, butterfly. Great Big shot. Great shot. Not able to finish it because, as you said, the, the wrestling of both these guys, and they respect it, the wrestling of yeah. both these guys is top level. This is, I think, as you were mentioning, Kendall, really going to be the defining uh, factor for a lot of the, the black belt champions moving forward is how how well they can wrestle, not just shoot a single or shoot a double, but right. how well they can actually wrestle. Yeah. Sit in the pocket and fight in that and flow through positions and defend positions and shoot their own shots. Um, those those one-shot takedowns don't work anymore, right? Yes. That was a really nice double from Sebastian. We'll see if he scores with it. Hunter not looking yet. to wrestle up. Great Beautiful. fight by Hunter. You can tell that he's uh, he's been drilling that, that wrestling up. Um, and, and getting himself out of that position to leave only with an advantage against him. And he's happy about it, too. I mean, we saw him, like, with a real big, uh, what do you call it, handshake, fist bump, whatever <laughs> it was, out of the first exchange. And that wasn't even a reset. He just did that in the middle of the match to do it, right? But with the wrestling exchanges, again, when you're on the ground, jiu-jitsu is so advanced where it's like, okay, I play from here or I play from there. In most jiu-jitsu academies, the way they teach wrestling is they say, okay, well, we're going to learn a double leg and we're going to learn a single leg. And it's like... Well, jiu-jitsu, the depth isn't there, right? It needs to be, we're going to work from single leg X, we're going to work from collared sleeve, we're going to work from double leg, just like on the feet. We're going to work from open shots. We're going to work from two-on-ones, from collar ties. Hunter looking really, uh, really fired up. And these guys, wow. Sebastian, now, a couple of times. Wow. That Kimura is so strong. Use it to flip him over and really be able to get the extension on the arm. Sebastian looks comfortable, but you cannot be lax in this position. What a tuned in exchange from both guys. There's just you know, a back and forth flurry. Really high level jujitsu from both um, between the wrestling and the submission attempts and the counters. Sebastian looks like he may be able to get his elbow free, but Hunter not letting go of that grip without a fight. Well, Hunter saved, I'm sorry, Sebastian has saved himself by stapling that leg down of Hunter on the volume. And I think that really is what saved him from being extended because Hunter only had one leg to work with. Hunter may use this to turn it into an arm drag to the back or something. He's still trying to remain, keep his grip behind the elbow. Sebastian gets it free. Going to be interesting uh, to see how this is scored. And Sebastian ends up with two points for the takedown. Yeah, that is, that is quite... It'll be an interesting one to watch back as far as the initiation of who started which position. But nonetheless, Sebastian is awarded the two. And Hunter looks very, very active here. We haven't seen much of Hunter time. from his back yet today. Um, most of the time from his back, he's, he's used it to get to his feet. Um, yes. Great duck under. And now... He gets his own setup here. Might come to the back. This is very this is similar. This is tricky here on the edge of the mat. This will be really tricky to see what the referee decides to do. They're going to rule it an advantage. An advantage and reset to the center. That is the trouble with those back take positions on the edge of the mat. And Sebastian pulls down. So, <laughs> smart move by yeah. Sebastian here. He realizes he's up on the scoreboard. He realizes he hasn't broken Hunter's mentality to wrestle. So. Besides, if Hunter wants to play on top, we'll just let him play on top. I have the score to, in my favor. And um, Sebastian, interesting to know that he trains with Jefferson Guarazzi. They have a similar approach to the way they use their uh, their positioning and uh, ice the match a little bit. Hunter looking to pass through, maybe putting his legs at risk here. Uh, these guys are just not stopping, chaining submissions together and attacking off of each other's attacks. Yeah. 
Both these guys attacking back and forth nonstop. Hunter using that Kimura to pass. Uh, Sebastian in counter trying to get to the back into a leg lock. Really nonstop open-ended action here between these two. Sebastian Rodriguez here maybe looking for a backside 50-50 entry on the leg. He does get the leg extended. The knee is in the pocket. He has control of the knee. Looking to now settle the leg down on the side. But Hunter switches it back, almost has his own heel hook, and he comes up on top. He's going to get the advantage goes to Hunter. No score for the sweep. They're rolling it at advantage. Incredible matchup between these two guys in the opening round in the medium heavyweight division. Colvin back on top and dropping pressure again. Looking to try and maybe bottle Sebastian up here a little bit and find an angle. He does have that Kimura attack, which he used to nearly pass the guard before, so looking to maybe isolate an arm and set that up. Meanwhile, Sebastian using the leg locks to wrestle up. Hunter now getting substantial pressure, and the knee is coming across, looking to finish that knee cut, but Sebastian does enough to funnel Hunter's leg out, getting back to the guard, rolling Kimura here. These guys are not stopping that Kimura could be the answer for a pass, and Sebastian using it to attack his own arm lock. Incredible. We're going to get recentered here. Let's hope that doesn't take too much heat off this match. These guys are going back and forth. This gas is... Right on him, right on him. Let's go, let's go. Three minutes left to go in this match. Hunter Colvin behind on the scoreboard by just two points. And this match has been even closer than that. Non-stop back and forth. Neither of these guys willing to give an inch. Uh, and in that, in that fight, a little bit of a flurry uh, and some aggressive attacking by Hunter. Conceded two points to Sebastian Rodriguez on a takedown. Sebastian now looking to set up a leg lock. Hunter staying balanced and uh, safe here and looking to set up his passing game once again. Sebastian though staving off that pass by keeping his bicep underneath his knee, keeping some elevation here and uh, maybe able to get into a leg entanglement here to counter and follow up. Sebastian now almost settling the sweep, but Hunter now in a good position to pass and to take the back yet again. Man, what a match. Sebastian Rodriguez scores the two points. Sebastian now slowing Hunter down. Hunter has been uh, has been really successful at creating space, making movement happen, and using that to attack in this match. But now Sebastian's starting to grind out. Hunter not relenting here, but that's giving Sebastian space to capitalize on his control. Hitting the pass, collecting the three to go to seven, and he'll get four more for the mount, 11 to zero here with a minute left. And he's gonna hop off for an arm triangle. Hunter keeping his shoulders off the mat to try and keep his neck safe. But he taps. Sebastian Rodriguez, one minute left on the clock, gets the tap. An incredible submission to cap off this wild match.